What up, folks? I am Ultra Zell, and today I have a review of the Gundam Universe Char's Zaku 2. That's right, my Zillion. Back to my uh, backlog of Gundam Universe. This was GU12. I don't even know what they're up to now. Uh, but I never reviewed this one. I actually have two more after this, and I think they were two around the same wave, or maybe the same wave in this, I think. Um, we'll have to check, but this was the one on top, and I just grabbed it. I'm like, you know what, let's, let's, let's get these done. I, it's weird, when I think of my backlog, I, I always think of Gundam Universe, because there was so many in there. So, I just, I, I just want to get them done. So, you'll probably see them soon. This really nice art here of the Zaku 2. So, you know what, guys, let's just get to the review. So, here's the Zaku 2 out of the package. And let's do articulation first before I talk about anything. The head moves like so. The upper body moves. Uh, I don't think the waist moves, just the upper body. It's okay. Uh, this is on a ball joint over here. The shoulders move like so. Not a ton of motion. Swivel at the bicep. You do have a double jointed elbow. The wrists are on... The fists are... <laughs> on ball joints at the wrist then all of this stuff moves out of your way this is on a ball joint too by the way over here uh these stuff these things move so you could do that you can go forward you can go back swivel at the thigh double joint to knee the leg the uh, ankles do that and they go back and forth so there is your articulation it's okay it's it's you know it's fine it's fine. I, I don't got like anything really bad to say about it, um, but you know, it's just it's just okay. So uh, let's talk about this guy in full. First up, loose legs. Don't like it. Don't like it. Next up, there's like a gummy feel to this guy, um, and I don't like that either. Uh, like all around, it's just a weird, weird feel uh, to the plastic. Maybe, maybe except this stuff. The rest of it feels like gummy. I, I don't know. I haven't really experienced that in this line before. Um, but it does feel not so good. Then the color of the plastic. And now if you, you know, I haven't done a Gundam Universe in a while. Um, so if you haven't seen Gundam Universe, like, they mostly achieve what they want to do in the line. Um with the plastic colors very very little paint like the paint here is uh that dot uh that eye dot there and it's not even um perfectly centered uh which is a bummer uh unless this thing comes off and uh, and then you lose the top thing i was gonna say that that thing uh, fell off of me once before, and now I gotta go find it. Alright, we're back. So he's got this spike here that comes out way too easy. I don't know why they did it like that. But anyway, I, the, what I was getting at is the plastic color. Um, I do not like. It is very bland looking. Um, a weird shade of pinkish red that's not good. That lone dot, which is off center. Uh, looks pretty good, but otherwise, even this color is, like, bland. It's very, very not great. Sculpt work looks pretty good. You see thrusters here, you see, uh, these wirings here that look pretty good. Um, I guess you can pull it out. I'd, I'd not do it. The head sculpt is pretty good. Again, that thing is off-center. It's, I can't stop looking at it, but, um, the sculpt is pretty good. The sculpt on this thing is pretty good. On the arms, you know, it's not bad. The front piece of the chest here, all these hip skirts are pretty decent. The legs look all right overall. The bottom of feet sculpted real well. I mean, the sculpt is good on this guy. It looks cool. He, I don't know, kind of looks like has really good proportions. Gundam Universe proportions. Long, big legs uh, is the standard that Tamashi decided for this line. Uh, but overall, I'd say, you know, those proportions are pretty decent and they work for these robots. Um, 
but I don't know. I like, I like, see, I like this color red back here. I would have preferred that more than any of this other pink stuff. It's just that it's not that great. I don't know. I don't know, guys. I, I'm just, I don't know if I'm really into this guy at all. And for accessories, he does have a trigger hand and a holding hand. Pretty standard uh, Gundam Universe fare. Then from one of those hands, we get this really, really nice gun with this thing that moves. It's pretty cool. This is really, really cool. I like this. That pops off as well for some reason. It's got a nice scope. Really nice rifle. Uh, I think that's a uh, pretty excellent looking. Just in gray, but it looks good. And, we, and then we get this really nice axe uh, with yellow here at the edge and the rest is purple. Really nice sculpt there. Uh, I believe, yes, there is a little hole here and there should you want to attach it to his side, which I think looks pretty cool. Uh, if you're gonna do it on the other side, then it's gonna go like like that. But either way, I think it looks good there. And here's the Zaku 2, uh, Char's Zaku 2, uh, holding his rifle. And you can see he's holding that thing that came out, which is pretty cool. And here he is holding the axe, which is pretty cool. And uh, it got me. Yeah, sharp. Woo. And for your size comparisons, I'm keeping this real simple with two other Tamashi uh, figures because I don't have any of the Gundam Universe stuff handy. Here he is uh, with Ultraman Blazar, and the recently reviewed Mechagodzilla from SH Monster Arts. And my final thoughts, well, it's, it's, I don't, know, I don't really like it. It's not that great. I mean, there's probably a reason why I slowed down on these. It was just not like, I'm not even slowing down on buying them. I mean, like, slowing down even on reviewing them. I was just like, getting bored, you know? Um, I don't know. It's it just... I was so into this line at first, but not so much now, so we'll see how the last two uh, do it for me. Uh, I hope to review them soon-ish, we'll see. Uh, but this one, this one just didn't work for me. And I, I do like his accent, so that was cool. But there you go guys, that's my review, hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts down below, and if you need a channel, why don't you go and sub yourself for daily content, and let me help you diversify your collection with some Gundam stuff, because Besides those uh, Gundam Universe figures, I do have some more Gundams uh, in the backlog, so do stay tuned. Until next time, peace out.